Switching over to basketball, John A. Logan men's basketball team went undefeated in conference play last year for the first time ever. If not for the national tournament being canceled due to the pandemic, some experts say they might have been crowned national champion. The Vols return six players and two of them are the most coveted big men in the country. Sports director Jason Hurst has their story. I was working on trimming my body up, um, me moving faster, really just like, um, improved my whole game. I've been working on my weaknesses, like getting every rebound, making shots, running the floor. I've been working on all my weaknesses so I can get better for next year. John A. Logan, Sidney Curry, and Jamari and Sharp are piling up the college offers. Curry averaged nearly 14 points, 8 rebounds last year. He slimmed down and put on some muscle. Has scholarship offers from Seton Hall, Ole Miss, Kansas, and Florida, to name a few. I'm working on my jump shot. It's really improving my overall game. Just really uh, trying to expand my game as a whole. You know, and with Sydney, I still remember the first day he came on campus last year. I watched him hit, you know, six threes in a row on the gun. And I mean, he has that ability to step out and hit shots. And I think a lot of that is, you know, definitely comes with confidence and definitely comes with that maturity we talked about. <laughs> definitely don't want to get away from what you're really good at. You know, you want to make sure that you still have that ability to be in and around the basket and rebound and turn and score because he's really good at those things. He has great hands, uh, but people don't realize too is that, you know, he, he does have the ability to step out and hit shots from 16, 17, 18 feet. Sharp grew two inches over the summer. His shot blocking ability makes him a game changer. Listed at seven feet, three inches tall, San Diego State, Cincinnati, Oregon, Arizona, and Seton Hall all want the Vol Center to play for them. He just turned 19 last week, too. I mean, he's, uh, he's a young kid, but he has worked extremely hard. He's come a long way, extremely proud of him. The taller you are, the more uh, the higher your metabolism is, so it's hard to keep calories in your body. So for me, I had to eat over 2,000 calories a day. His best basketball is way ahead of him. We'll probably not see the best of it here at John A. Logan. It'll be somebody after us and maybe after that. I'm the first person everyone sees in the room. Then also with the team, I'm also a sophomore, so they expect me to step up and become a leader. Kind of saw it click for him, I thought, midseason. I mean, if you look at him, the first college basketball game he played, he had zero points, two rebounds, and you know, almost fouled out. Compared to the last game he played at the region tournament where he had, I think, 12 points, eight rebounds, five blocks. And that's just a big change, especially at that level of competition you're playing. Like, I've been like extending it out, and every now and again, coach, like, to improve my game, he, uh, he makes me guard the guards so I can like guard bigs and guards during the game. Jason Hurst, News 3 Sports. Now, Kendra, I know that's a story that you really followed before COVID hit. So what's it like to see them back to practice? Good to see them back out there. Those guys are very talented. No doubt that more offers will come. And, you know, they're sophomores now, so they're leaders on the court and get those young guys going in the right direction. And something that we'll be sure to follow in the future. Thank Absolutely. You.